Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And did you know that they whitewashed Sailor Moon? In the name of the moon, I will whitewash you. There you go. You even did the hand. I did. Thing. I love Sailor Moon. It. Like I effing love Sailor Moon. Like you don't understand. Like I even have all the live actions on DVD and everything. I love Sailor Moon. So Sailor Moon, a a classic anime character created by a Japanese woman, mm -hmm. is too white. Right, because she's you problematic. know, um, clearly she's meant to be Asian with her blonde hair and blue eyes. I um, the, I always got that. I, I'm surprised that the rest of the world didn't. I I you know I'm uh, I'm, I'm being sarcastic, obviously. So they had this drawing challenge, which I, I didn't really pay attention to what was going on. I saw some really nice pieces. A lot of people were just putting their personal spin on Sailor Moon, and it was cool. Like there was a lot of different. Uh, versions of her right and some that looked like her and some that didn't um that they deliberately tried to you know different changes to her and it was all cool everybody was like oh that's cool it was all cool until they suddenly decided it wasn't cool yeah it could be anything but what sailor moon looks like this is what i love about the uh the art community now formerly on tumblr now on twitter is that yeah. everything is problematic mm -hmm. oh except for the, what they draw what they draw is always wonderful and perfect right. uh, everybody else is problematic um and if you don't appreciate their brilliance they'll make sure they tweet about the hell out of it and start a controversy that doesn't exist so you you see their art and know their brilliance everything is controversial everything is problematic although i really do like this i do like it too i think That's, they did a good job that is probably I would say that is probably the most accurate, the most accurate depiction of what Yeah, especially if you watch the live about. action one, um, right. which you have pulled up, and I actually own it. Um, it. That's pretty, you know, I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah, it is. Um, I actually think it's a pretty nice piece. But of course, you know, everything devolves into uh, race. Everything, yes. you know, becomes a conversation about race and representation. We can't just have a fun little art contest. You, without... can't, you can't just stop. Well, we can't just have fun. You can just stop it right there. <laughs> we can't just have fun anymore. Because anything that's fun, um, they find a way to ruin. And they find a way to, to if, it, if, it's not a, if it's not a fun that they like or something that, you know, represents what they want, it automatically cannot be fun any longer. It just means that you're all right because you did it right so we're going to talk about that and how how critics were uh very very um upset that they were making this japanese character look too what? white make it look like the character let's let's remind people that sailor moon was created years ago by a japanese woman mm -hmm. that her her uh very iconic look has remained intact for the most part uh for several decades Right. And that she was designed with blonde hair. So basically the people made them look like the character and they're mad because they made their art look like the character. Because it's problematic for a Japanese character to have blonde hair and blue eyes. But here's the thing. Have you ever actually watched the show? Because if you did, you would realize she's not actually Japanese. She's not. She's technically, technically not Japanese. She's living here on Earth, but she is from the Moon Kingdom. Yes. So. Yeah, she's from each of the planets. Sailor Scouts are from their respective planet. Um, they are not actually Japanese. Yeah, so the character, yes and no. Uh, she does have a human identity, but she's technically technically a moon princess, so she can have whatever the hell uh, hair color they want to have. On let the moon. me boil this down again real quick. They have an art challenge to yes. draw Sil your version of Sailor fun, Moon. Like Sailor art, Moon, yeah. to support yeah. Sailor Moon. People draw her the way the character looks. Yes. And they're pissed because she's not, she's drawn like the character looks. And that's yes. whitewashing. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. That, that, I mean, I'm just saying this for anybody I, I, out there who's listening to this, like, what? I would, I would say follow the logic, but when it comes to people on Twitter uh, turning everything that's supposed to be fun into a discussion about uh, race and politics, you know, there is no logical thread to be followed. Well, you know, if they had done the Sailor Jupiter challenge, um, they would all be characters that weren't white because she's got reddish hair and that's not that's a problem yeah i always thought they she would have had to make them all black oh well no there i'm sure there are people complaining about that um that there aren't enough there is enough uh representation oh, i'm in sure they are a 30 year old cartoon show done in another um, country that wasn't done, done for country. you it wasn't it's not for you so anyway uh this was last week and um pinky boo pinky boo did her own she did. her own take and, and she's 12 and she actually did she did a pretty good job. She mm -hmm. got a lot of likes. She got almost a hundred. Yeah, here, so she's so. very, she's very proud. She's very excited. Yeah, um, she did. But a see, good she job. did a challenge too because she grew up on, she grew up on Sailor Moon. That girl has watched 
almost all the Sailor Moon, she has not watched Stars, even though I do have Stars and she can watch it now. She hadn't watched it to this point. Yeah, um, Stars is actually the, my favorite. I, I really? like Stars. Well, I have it, and, and so we can the watch dub, it. The dub, the dub one. Yes. I haven't watched the dub. We had the Japanese version. But the I have that. I have that too. Yeah. Yeah, but it was it was you know Star General Uterus. You wanted that as your ringtone. I do. Phone. You never did it for me. You said I, I can make that into no. a ringtone for you, and you never did. Oh, I did start. I uh, wanted to. I wanted the ringtone. So every time Star. that Neon called me, it was going to say Star Gentle Uterus. And because I think people would just be like, what the hell? And turn their head when that. That's my, my husband. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Nobody wants a gentle uterus. Anyway. Um, we're <laughs> so this is coming from Bounding in the Comics. I, I, You know, this doesn't surprise me. I'd like to say I'm, I'm shocked. But we've seen drama over Pokemon characters. Right. That were not dark skinned but, enough. But you could argue on those. That okay, because they were an ethnic character that they maybe didn't make him dark enough, or whatever. I can see that I can kind of see an argument there. They made the character look like the character and they're pissed about it because they made her white because she's you know, they made her look light skinned. Um, and she has big eyes because it's an anime character and they have big eyes. Here's that, this is dumb, this just, is just flat out stupid. How much anime do these people actually watch? Because I'll tell you the truth most anime characters look western, mm -hmm. uh, they do, they're not technically meant to be Western, uh, but a lot of classic anime characters, again, designed by Japanese creators, look Western. They didn't say hashtag draw Sailor Moon as, as you know, her Asian culture challenge. It was draw Sailor Moon. So people redrew Sailor Moon as Sailor Moon. And then people did her other versions, which I, I thought it was cool to see all the versions. I don't care if they made them Asian or otherwise. There was a lot of really cool takes on it out there that I thought were really interesting. Yeah, this one's uh, Venom Moon. I thought I like that's, that. That's pretty cool. Looks like J. Scott uh, Campbell's art, actually. We have as a watercolor. That's um, beautiful. This one's actually pretty nice. I saw, I, I did retweet a couple. There's some, there were some, you guys go out and look. There are some gorgeous pieces out there. Yeah, this is beautiful. They, um, yeah, I know. They're beautiful and they're got a problem with it, but they're absolutely beautiful. Let's see. Then uh, I thought oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually a different t like, look, I don't have a problem with anybody. I think my thing is like, I don't have a problem with anyone doing a fan art, a race swapped fan art or whatever. What I have a problem with is when you tell people that if they draw the character as she has been portrayed, that they're somehow racist. So all these people are racist then because they all drew her, um, yeah, you she know, as she, she was, blonde, yeah. you know, how dare they? How dare how they? Very dare they. Um, I like the eight bit one. That's one of my favorite. That is probably my yeah. That's I love it. Cool. I love it. I love it. That's great. This uh, is hilarious. Thank you. By the power of the moon, I'm gonna kick your ass. That's right. I can't do a Hank Hill. Uh, but I, I mean, I, I, that's I'm, that's really good though. That like is that. good. And then they had a version of her because if you watch a live action one, she did have the dark hair and stuff before she turned into Sailor Moon, if I remember right. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they did in the live action. They don't have her. Uh, as you I saw have me. this. I haven't seen it for years though. It was pretty good. It was weird though because. They ballet fight. But it's cool. So, so they dance it's fight. It's so bad. It's awesome, guys. Like, I love the live action. It's really fun. <laughs> Somebody needs to take the dance fighting in Sailor Moon and said to... Uh, the song from Jumanji? Yeah. Oh. Baby, I love your way. Yeah. Baby, I love your way. Oh, my God. Someone needs to do that. They need to do if that. If you do that, let me know. I want to see it. That would be amazing and actually have the, the Sailor Senshi dance fighting. That would uh, be beautiful. That. that would be amazing. I like the live action one. I did. It was pretty good. I haven't seen it, oh my gosh, since we lived in, in another town, and that was like 12 plus years ago. Yeah, it was really good. I we have got, it, though. We got a very, uh, very questionable uh, bootleg <laughs> copy of it, because it still had the, the clock on the screen, mm -hmm. so somebody clearly ripped it off of TV. But I got but... It, yeah, but I got it from somebody, you know, that was, it got it from an Asian source, and it's really, really, really cool, and I love it so much. Um, I would love to see Baby I Love Your Way put to it. I just think yeah. this whole thing's stupid, though. This whole argument. So they have a redraw Sailor Moon to promote Sailor Moon because there has been a new trailer come out uh, that they were talking about doing some other stuff with, I want to say, Eternal. Yeah. And uh, people were like, oh, let's support Sailor Moon because a lot of people really love Sailor Moon. Yeah, yeah. And this was supposed to be like a, a support thing, a, a, you know, a united goodwill movement, you know, make you feel good about it. Go out, watch Sailor Moon. So people love Sailor Moon. And then they had to turn it into something shitty because that's what they always do. Yeah. How you're having fun? Can't have that. That's the problem. Look, this is the problem people have with, with the complainers on Twitter and on Tumblr is, you know, and I'm not saying that these conversations can't and should not take place, but there's a time and a place for it. it it's like Debbie Downer. Let's the take challenge. something fun. Draw Sailor Moon. So people are drawing 
Sailor Moon, like the character of Sailor Moon. If you think she looks too white, that's that. Take it up with the Japanese artist who made her that way. Yeah, right. <laughs> but um, so you know, this is the artist who did, and I actually do think this. This I is think a did a good job. job. Yeah, I think this probably is is, I would say the most accurate depiction was, of her. If you're gonna go with Japanese, if, being right, Japanese, right. Then yes. Yeah, I would say this. This but looks legit. The character, well, all these art pieces look like the character. Yeah. And that that was the challenge. Draw the character. And it's not just Sailor Moon. Like I said, so many Japanese uh, anime characters look Western, mm -hmm. even though they're meant to be Japanese. They look very Western. Uh, but you know, put the hair now. I'm, I, but the thing is, when I first saw this, I'll tell you the truth. I thought it was Sailor Mars. Yeah, I, yeah, that's the problem you're going to run into. Is I was like, Mars. there's a reason that the hair colors are all different. I thought it was Sailor Mars at first. I'm like, oh, no, that's Moon. Um, but the realistic depiction of the pretty guardian soon garnered a mass of fans from a small group. A small small group, group, guys, small, because these people are just looking for issues that don't exist. Right. The asserted Silver Jow's black haired version actually looks Japanese, bizarrely claiming that so many people whitewash her in the challenge, despite the character's Japanese origin, setting and heritage of the creators. The creator made her dad blonde hair. She comes from the moon. Right. <laughs> the moon people have blonde hair, I guess. That's I, I, just, have you watched it? But I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking, you know, they're like, hey, uh, make, her, make her Asian. I'm like, well, they made Roderick Asian too. So yeah, yeah. Um, maybe that's just how they roll. They I want know. everybody, but no, I mean, it's a freaking cartoon character. God, stop! Stop it! They asked people to draw Sailor Moon. They drew. They drew Sailor Moon as she was portrayed, and now they're having a hissy about it. It's Not to funny. be racist, but it's weird how anime characters often don't look Japanese. That is kind of ex the accepted norm. Yeah. You know, Japanese name, but they look Western. Uh, that I, and, that and even goes they're back the to the early stuff, which was kind of based on di more Disney right, things. Right. Yeah. Actually, if you go back to the older manga and anime, those characters, I, you could argue, like Astro Boy, etc., look more Japanese. Yeah. Than than newer characters. I mean, we watch. You know, we were just talking about rewatching Tenchi. I'm mm -hmm. like, well, the half the cast of Tenchi looks like white people. So. Well, half the cast of Tenchi doesn't even aren't even on the Earth. They come from other places. They come from other places, so they explain it. You know, Sailor Scouts all come from other places. Mm -hmm. They're just living on Earth. You know, this is, you watch the show. They're not technically human. Um, or they're human, but they're from other you places. You want to watch people's heads explode? They have a challenge where you have to draw Uranus and Neptune as cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Now, look, you should be thrilled because, uh, you know, Sailor Stars featured technically, you know, very prominent uh, trans characters. Mm -hmm. And um, that's, now here's the thing. People are like, you know, we're breaking ground with cartoons now. I'm like. Ground has been broken recovered broken again recovered and broken again since you guys have broken anything anime has been breaking ground for years the sailor stars is what 25 years old yeah now? i yeah. mean when you try to say how progressive and, and and refreshing and brave and groundbreaking you are go watch anime a gay kiss is is refreshing and brave but sailor stars time sailor stars 25 years ago had technically had trans sailor yeah scouts. neptune and uranus you know how many years ago we were a couple i mean they brought over the u.s and they, they were they, cousins they said they were cousins which was dumb and everybody knew everybody it was knew. dumb and they put it back to what it should be and but the thing is anime is kicking <laughs> very close western cousins. animation's ass yes and they've been doing all kinds of stuff that they you know been for years the western animation's just now trying to do and act like they're brave and 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 they've got they've broken ground on something that like you said it's been, been broken and rebroken and broken again and then broken like in different dimensions. They've already done it. There is nothing uh, gentle about that uterus. No, it's been it has broken been, in pretty well. It has been. It's all been done before. I think it's funny. You get it's people that. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you get you get people that start watching anime now and they, they like have no history. They're like, oh my god, this is so offensive. I'm like, it's been around forever. Or oh my god, uh, yeah, it's been about twenty years. And you're now you're now you're offended. <laughs> now you're offended. Uh, you, my feeling on it is, if Japanese creators want their characters to look more Western because that is a design choice, it, they're well within their rights right. to make their characters look however they want to make them. But the challenge was to draw the character and people drew the character and she's very pale. She has blonde hair and blue eyes and people drew her that way. They drew her with the big eyes and they drew her as an anime style character because that's the way the character looks. It was never any kind of insult or racial anything. And, it, and then you just, you just ruined the entire point of the movement which was to 
to make people happy and to draw something they love <laughs> and, and, and to, to share to share something that they love and, and show up in their own art style whether it be like the people who changed the character to look more Asian or those who made her 8-bit or those that made her look like you know she was a different ethnicity it's all cool because it was all it was the challenge and then you just went and just had to ruin it for no reason other than to be pissy because you want attention yeah I, I think it's um it's so funny this is like this is why so many people, as I understand it, because I, I talk to people, uh, you know, in the animation industry who have connections to, to people in, in Japan and China, and th they're constantly like, the the Japanese think you guys are full of shit. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't care. They're over this. It's, that uterus has been broken. Yeah. You we, know? we did it first. We did it better. We're going to continue doing it better. Like, literally, America is the only country that gives a shit about this the japanese mm -hmm. are just gonna go on making what right. they're gonna make and you know? and you know this is why we can't have nice things this is yeah. behavior and you know what, may, what makes me mad is we've been accused all the time of being negative and being you know well, you're you're so pessimistic because this is the shit we have to deal with every day when there's something great and you can get excited about because i thought this challenge was really cool i actually showed it to pinky boo that's why she did it because pinky boo loves sailor moon and i love sailor moon and i thought this would be something cute she might want to try and you can't even have the joy in it because if you do, these people are gonna to tell you you're wrong and terrible person you are. And then we get we get like sick of the shit and call it out. And then we're always negative all the time because we're not allowed to like things. When we like things, we're in trouble for that too. That that's it. This is why this is why there's all the drama about you know different factions of fandom and the the uh, you know the people who are constantly trying to nanny and police uh, other fans. Is fandom used to be fun? It used to be fun. And then now it's, it's become, always been diverse. Always. It's always been diverse. But now it's become a minefield. You can't say this. You can't draw that. Um, if you don't step down and let somebody else have your job. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you're a woman, though, you like, like, I'm sorry, a Brit Brie Larson. She's out there going on about how we need more diversity. Notice how she didn't give somebody else her job. She always wants to make sure that, that the white woman is at the top, but she, you know, I'll, I'll help you. I'll have you all come around me. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you, I'm going to call them the spade a spade. You know, you can't talk about both sides of your mouth like that. Honestly, this is stupid. It's a dumb argument. How this even became a thing, I don't know. Because that's, the, again, this is the root of this whole thing. And we saw it with Pokemon. We saw it with everything is a battlefield. Gaming used to be fun and it became a even battlefield. love. Love is a battlefield. Um, I'm, I'm biting my tongue not to sing it right now. I, go I'm not going to sing it because we'll get demonetized, but ugh, I love that song. Uh, so so the kids. The kids love they that song. They do love that song. They got it from me. Yeah, and they love the literal video, too, where they're doing the jazz yeah, hands. Yeah, they're like, shake, booby shake, yeah. Jazz hands, jazz hands. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is this is why we make these kinds of videos is because, yeah, we're, we're old school. We grew up in the 80s and 90s. And we saw fandom become a battleground when it used to just be escapism. Remember, okay, we've been going to anime cons for years, okay? Anime cons, I think, were accepting before a lot of places were accepting. It yes. was the most diverse, accepting group of people I've ever seen. Yeah, absolutely. You go to anime cons and you will see tons of Sailor Scouts. Some of them are white, some of them are not white. Nobody cared. They were just happy that they were dressed as Sailor Scouts and our daughter was thrilled to death to get her picture taken with every one of them, no matter what color they were. Some of them were guys, and that's okay. Yeah, we didn't you care know, about that too. Care. We've been to cons, and we've seen characters that aren't that are different races being represented. The characters all the time, and everybody was just like, "Oh my gosh, I love your costume!" And no one was like, "Well, you're not. You can't cosplay as that anime character because you're not Asian." Stay in your lane. Yeah, no one ever said Stay that. Stay in your lane. And 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 I love anime cons. Well, I did. I don't know how they are now. I haven't been there in a few years, but I fear what they are now. But back then, it was like. Everybody it was so diverse and so welcoming, and it was full of fun energy, and everybody was there to have fun, and they were all this a really, really great group of people, and these are the people that are behind the like challenges like this, and then these other people come in and like, well, you can't do it because you're not Asian. Well, there was a black Dracula, and our daughter thought it was the greatest thing ever. She's like, it's Dracula, because to her, it was just Dracula. Yeah, she didn't even matter. care. I saw, now this would be considered problematic, uh, I saw a couple of white kids dressed as Black Panther a couple of years ago. They like Black Panther. You were, should be happy that they like Black Panther. There are black people going on dressed as Spider-Man and no one cares. Nobody cares. Like, no, just like what you like. Don't let anybody tell you you can't like what you like because you're not the right race to like or gender to like what you like. I don't care what color you are, you know, what you know you prefer to call yourself, any of it. I don't care. Like what you like. We have to go back to having fun. And that's that's the thing. And that's why it gets, you know, it's actually kind of draining 
to do these videos because I'm like, these are conversations we shouldn't even be having. No, I really want to add to my like what you like. Like what you like, but understand you don't have the right to call other people names for not liking what you like or that not liking true. it the way you want it. You don't have that right. There's a difference. That's why you don't hear us calling names because we don't go there. That That's when things change. When people started policing you know, fandoms. And a lot of people who are policing, I'll be honest, they were they were people who kind of just joined the fandom. Mm -hmm. Like they just joined the fandom not to really join the fandom because if you, you know, join the fandom, you're gonna be like, well, let's let's learn the ropes and let's see how things are done. No, 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 they wanna come in, they wanna change everything. It's kind of like, well, I wanna date you, but I hate everything about you. Yeah, that's how this all sounds. I have to change. I love it. It means so much to me, but I'm gonna change everything about it. And we're seeing it with gaming. We're seeing it with comics. Yeah, we're seeing it with Shira. And now they're coming for anime too. Right. And I'm not saying you can't have these conversations like why, you know, are things this way or whatever, but <laughs> when you're, you're spending all your time looking for problems. Right, just have fun with it and don't, don't worry about that. Like they had this challenge out there and we got a diverse way of looking at Sailor Moon. We also got Sailor Moon portrayed as Sailor Moon looks. And I'm sorry if you don't like the way she looks, that's how she's always looked. Yeah. That's the way the person, the creator made her. So I'm sorry if you have a problem with it. But I have no, but I on the, on the contrary had no problem with people going in and, and, and making her no, you know, black fine. or anything else. I thought that, look how cute that is. Look how, it's that adorable. I love it. And I, I was like looking at all the different versions and to me, it was all amazing and really cool to see other people's interpretations of it. It never occurred to me that I should be offended because, I mean, well, she's black, she's not Asian. How come that's allowed? You know, it never occurred to me to be upset about it because it's stupid. I don't know. Again, everything's become a fight. Everything has become a you fight. You know, it can't be a fight if you don't let them make it a fight. Yeah, so Silver Zhao, who created the artwork, which I, I like both versions, I'll mm -hmm. be honest. I did, I think they're both nice. Uh, I think Silver Zhao is very talented, would admit that he would be lying if I said the comment section under my Sailor Moon redraw tweet didn't hinder me or bother me. Sadly questioning whether he shouldn't have joined the challenge in the first he place. He should have. He should have been allowed to join the challenge if he wanted to. So he wasn't trying to cause a, a problem. No, he just thought, he had his interpretation, just like everybody had their own interpretation. Um, he just, you know, made her look like more what he thought she'd look if she was as her Japanese character or herself. And it was pretty, but it wasn't worth the fight that people made it into. And then he was the, the unwill, unwitting victim caught in the middle of it. Well, that's what happens. A lot of times people who are just like, hey, you know, we're saying something innocuous or posting art. Like the one artist who put up the, uh, the character Nessa from Pokemon mm -hmm. uh, Sword and Shield did because of the color palette, Nessa's skin looked lighter. They weren't trying to but whitewash But also, if you Nessa. saw her in the light, her skin was lighter like that. Yeah, she's actually not as dark as, It you was know, like the way it was lit. It looked like the light was In the light game, she's not that dark. Direct, yes, exactly. It was directly on her, so it was right. like, well, you're in the sun, it wasn't as dark. I don't think it was intended to be offensive. No, no, and, no. And it doesn't matter what you do. You could, you could like, look out the window wrong, and somebody's going to be mad that you, you, how dare you? You offended me. What's that? I mean, you you can breathe, you breathe existing, your existence. I know our existence offends people. Whoever you want, well, that's just it. We're getting that too. Like, I think people, they're so used to getting their own way and bullying people on social media that YouTubers like us- they Don't care? Who don't care, they don't know what to do. They, they try like screaming at us and it's like, you can't shut us up by saying mean things because we don't give a shit, sweetheart. We're from another generation. Uh, we used to get in fist fights on the playground. Like this, this shit is nothing to us. Mm. So you're, it's not going to work, but that generation, they can bully each other with, oh my God, people are going to think you're mean. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I know I'm mean. <laughs> I, like... Anyone who's worked with me knows I'm mean. Actually, he's not. Uh, well, I don't know. I made some freelancers cry, but oh, yeah? yeah, I did. The one girl that, um, I fired her as soon as I took over that newspaper. Yeah, but she sucked. She did suck. It doesn't matter. If you suck, you're but supposed to- you were nice. You weren't mean about it. I wasn't mean, but her mom called me and chewed me out. Well, that's right. Her mom did call her me. Her mom out. called me. She's like a grown ass adult and her mom called. She was like in her 20s and I took- they were you, you were also in your 20s. I was. I wasn't much I wasn't much older than she was. You were the same age as her, actually. I might have been. I actually, because, okay, so I, I used to be a newspaper editor. I actually was running newspapers when I was like in my early to mid 20s. Um, but I came in to fix, I guess, this this paper. And I came in, the first thing I did is I took a look at who was freelancing. And I'm like, you know, they go or they stay. What were they bringing to the table? And I cut some heads. But you gave her chances too, though. First, it wasn't like you just came in and was. No, I, I basically I gave her direction. I'm like, look, this is the kind of content we need. Uh, and she turned in. She was pissed off because the former editor was her friend, mm -hmm. and she was just dragging her feet with me. I'm like, I'm in charge now. Your friend's gone. 
I'm sorry. If you don't like it, you're a freelancer. This is the way it's going to be. I mean, I was nicer than that, but she was very upset. So like a week or two after I said, hey, we don't need you anymore because you're not producing the content we need. I gave you chances. I gave her a chance. I didn't just like fire her. I'm just like, you're going to have to write better stuff. It's not that mean. Okay. So anyway, so her mom called. Her mom called. I, I found out it was her mom after the fact. Uh, and it was like, oh my God, there's this one really great columnist that I I loved. And you're just, why isn't she with the paper anymore? I don't understand. I'm like, I we didn't have, editorially, it didn't work for us anymore. And then I found out later uh, from somebody else that worked there that that was her mom. Her mom called. It's sad. I mean, as a mom, I understand why she called. But when you're a mom, you try not to do that because it kind of makes your kids look worse than they are. They hired me to do a job. They said, you come in, you fix it. That's what well, I that's did. That's what they used to do. They used to bring him in for things to fix it. I was it. a fixer. And then after he got it all fixed and running really well and built up, then they get rid of him and bring somebody, bring somebody one of their friends. Somebody cheaper, usually. Well, no, one of their friends, usually. Yeah, it was like, usually, yeah. Somebody who couldn't do what you did to fix it, but they could run it after it was fixed. That's usually what happened. That, that has been a lot of my career, basically. Come in and clean up somebody else's mess, get it ready for the next person to come in so they don't have to clean the mess up. I'm the guy that had to be the bad guy and fire everybody and have their mom call because they were yeah. and salty. Yeah, and then as soon as they got it to the place they wanted it, then suddenly you, you, that you they don't need you anymore. Yep. Or you build up a whole blog and that happens too. Yes, that also happened. Uh, anyway, Silver Jow felt bad. Uh, I never claimed to make Sailor Moon look Japanese. I also didn't say all Asians are or should look like that. I modeled her face after my own sister. Aww. If you think she's ugly. <gasps> you said because, she's ugly? Yeah, because she looks too Asian. I don't know who's a racist here. We're Malaysian. Wow. Well, that's horrible. That's cool he did it off a of sister. And I feel bad now because sister's probably thinking she's ugly because people make comments because they, they didn't like that she was a Japanese version. I don't know. I, actually, I thought she did, they did a pretty good job. Yeah, I actually think this is probably the most. No, that doesn't even bother me. I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan. I've been for years. I'm going through it, and like I was looking at all different interpretations, and I wasn't bothered by. It. I wasn't bothered by it. Like I thought it was nice that it was kind of a a cool way to unify people. That's how I looked at it. Yeah, you know, but that's how these things start. Gaming. Let's all sit around the table together, play a game together, and enjoy life, and it turns into drama. Um, this is what some Japanese fans are saying. I knew they do think that way, but actually seeing it still surprises me. This is what they think about the challenge and the backlash. Okay. Uh, we see her as only some creation who has some affinity to Japanese. Compared to that, what they do is stereotyping some race to teach what's correct. This is what I'm hearing from friends yeah. who have contacts in, yeah. in Asia. Is they're like, they look at us like we're a bunch of buffoons, yeah, to be honest, which produces prejudice and racism. What makes this hell is that they think they're thinking equality to others. Oh, uh, this is very interesting. This is. Uh, this is not a legit translation, but I'm going to try it. Sailor Moon redraw thing was fun until anime looks like white kind of talk came out again, which makes me so nausea. That's the worst racism a few Westerners do, which is thinking the diverse is a putting a stereotype character who has straight cut bobbed hair with slant eye into creation. Mm -hmm, this is why I've been saying. What? They keep stereotyping oh. stuff. That Japanese anime art are wanting to be white or blah, blah thing. <laughs> if they're talking about hair color, what race the characters want to be then who has pink, blue, green hair? If it's the, the uh, liniment, then they totally ignoring South Asian people. Uh, that's it. South Asian people a lot of times have darker, darker mm -hmm. skin. Just do something with your shitty stereotype, which has all none of diversity at all. Okay. This is about... This is great. Sailor Moon, an Asian thing. I kind of feel I saw true racism from human rights advanced country. They're what all, have we been saying? They're all laughing at us. You don't understand. You don't understand. We've got... We've got people who work with the Japanese studios. They're laughing their asses off at how freaking stupid these people sound. These people are, and you know, I, I don't know. People are like, "Oh, they're trying to, you know, uh, SJW fi anime." I don't know how far it's actually going to get because these people think you're a bunch of dumbasses. Well, it's a true racism from human rights advanced country, which cannot tolerate that even tiny deforma deformation. Can't stop thinking that you guys just don't like Asian looks like white, do you? That well, don't like Asian look like white. Okay. Well, there are some very light skinned folks. That, yeah. You know, the Sailor Moon redraw challenge is getting buzz among foreign Twitter too. Asian version by a male artist in the Kuala Lumpur is having argument compared to that to the Afro American version is generally favored. I feel like I found a critical bug in Western political correctness. Um, yeah, because oh, well, they they say it's okay that she made her as black but not as Asian. Is that what was going on? Uh, I think both are great, and I don't see what the problem is. I mean. 
It's just an art contest. It's just not even a contest. It was fun just, with it. It was just to show support and your love of Sailor Moon. That's all that it was supposed a, to be. A challenge. These are a the challenge. same people that say that Snake Eyes can't be a white guy with blonde hair and blue eyes, even though that's why the American Asian creator created him, because uh, he has to be a ninja because he he does martial arts. That's right. I mean, these are the same people who thought that. And so just, you know. Just a reminder. Just a reminder. Um, Sailor Moon's technically not Asian. She's technically the moon. Not, she's from the she's moon. She's the moon kingdom. And she's a cartoon character. Just the end of the day. Yeah, the planets are from the moon kingdom, but they all just like represent their planet. So right. Yeah, At the end of the story. day, it's just a cartoon. And it was just a, it was just for fun. It was just a support. And these people are getting so pissed. And they call this sister ugly. I don't think she's ugly. We're like, oh, that's a really good drawing. That actually is. I looked at that. I'm like, yeah, she's really good. That's um, really good. Anyway. She looks really good. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, I don't get it. I don't get it. The people drew like the character and people are pissed about it. It's another day on Twitter. Uh-huh. We're going to wrap it up. <laughs> We should have wrapped up a while ago. We should. We just kept going. I know. Well, uh, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. You need to go out and support Sailor Moon, or in the name of the moon, I will punish you. You even did the finger thing. I did. I love Sailor Moon. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.